So the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is releasing in about a month. Damn, I can't believe I just said that. And around this time, we would expect a lot of promotion. But since the writer strike and actor strike is still currently going on, a lot of movies aren't fully being promoted, including this one. But let's put the writers and actor strike to the side and let's focus on the other side of promotion, merchandise. When a movie is near its release, you'd expect a lot of clothes, backpacks, plushies, but the main thing I want to talk about are figures. And since we know that Funko will be making FNAF movie figures, hopefully they actually put effort into them, I drew some concepts of what these figures will look like. So in today's video, we'll be seeing some concepts that I drew for what a FNAF movie figure line would be. So let's first start off with Freddy Fazbear himself. As you can see here, I did remove the upper teeth that Funko could never do because they are garbage. Nah, I'm just kidding about that. But besides that, I did change the head sculpt a bit because I did not like how the other one looked like a butt. I made the arms a bit more longer. I also made the feet a bit more bigger. The only problem I have were the ears. The ears don't look that good to me and I I could probably fix it sometime later. But this, this is what you guys get. All right, next up we have Bonnie. So I made sure that this was at least movie accurate and I had to change the color so it would look a bit more bluish. I also changed the positions of the ears because I do not like how the Funko one is just straight up. I also made the pupils more bigger and I made sure the arms were also just like Freddy's long and I also made the feet bigger. And honestly, I don't have any issues with this. If you guys have any issues with this one, please comment down below. But honestly, I think this one was the best one I made. But yeah, let's move on to Chica. So with Chica, I had to change a lot of things because the Funko one just looked like it saw some pretty gruesome stuff. So with this one, I made her look a bit more cuter. I also changed the whole head sculpt thing again because I don't know, something about the Funko one just seems a little bit off to me. And really, there aren't really any more massive changes, just the head, and that's pretty much it. But let's move on to Foxy. With Foxy, I changed the eyes a bit, gave him the white pupil he has from the game and in the movie. Also, I will say this, I don't like how I made the eye patch. Seems a little small, so maybe next time I'll try and make it bigger. I also made sure I added details on the pants, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is just either a bit more of a darker color, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, time to move on to William Afton himself, or Spring Bonnie. Now, with Spring Bonnie, I had a difficult time making him because this is a bit more of a less withered version of Springtrap. And, um, you know, this one is, it's all right. Not my favorite, but it's all right. The eyes could definitely use some work. Some of the withering is I, I guess. I also added some kind of withering on the legs, but this is probably what the legs won't look like in the final movie because, you know, we haven't seen the legs yet, so we'll probably see it in the movie. But yeah, that is the entire FNAF movie figure concepts that I've drawn. Uh, like and subscribe for more content like this. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.